In this exercise, we're going to be creating ordinate dimensions. Ordinate dimension command is up here in the middle. We select ordinate. We select the view we want to do. The first thing it's going to ask us is to select the origin location. You can either select a point, or for this part, for example, if you're going to be running a sheet metal part, more than likely it's going to be the corner of the sheet of metal out here. So I'll put it out there in kind of outer space so that I can have that corner. Then what I can do is just window select everything I want to be in order to mention. I right click, say continue, left pick to place my dimensions, right click and say OK. Just like baseline dimensioning, I can go through and remove the objects I don't want. So if I don't want every little nook and cranny of these keyholes here, I don't want to show the holes in this particular drawing. So now you can see get a really good set of ordinate dimensions. Depending on what you want to dimension out, you can go through and remove as much as you want. If you need to add something in, you select the view. You notice it automatically selected my origin. Right click to continue. And now I've added these additional measurements to that same origin point. Right click and say OK to finish. So once you have the origin in there, it will remember it. If I say ordinate, select my view, right click to continue. Now I can drag it out, right click and OK, and go through and remove what I don't want. Now, that's if you just want to go crazy there, I can do that. If I wanted to get rid of that, and I could say ordinate, select my view, I could actually do kind of more like the real world type thing where I'd go through and manually select a couple here and there so it doesn't just go crazy. Right click, continue, drop it in there, right click, OK. So you can see the ordinate dimensioning is very easy to use. If you're familiar with the ordinate dimensions, even if you're just familiar with them on paper, it's going to be very easy to go in there and drop these in, just like if you were going to draw them out on a piece of paper. So play with this a little bit. It's the ordinate dimension.idw drawing. Add some ordinate dimensions in there and see what you can do. It is based on a style just like anything else in Inventor. You can adjust the style, be something else. So you can set one to be metric and imperial. You can set one to be just metric. You can have those multiple styles in there. You can have your own company style based on that, and it would create your ordinate dimensions based on your company style. There's not a whole lot to ordinate dimensions. Just like baseline, there is the legacy set. It's no longer necessary because we can do everything with that one command now. So try it out, see what you can do, have some fun with it.